What's up, everybody? Welcome to the roleplay server. This is the whitelisted roleplay server. We are here on a huge 32x map. This map is 30 times larger than a base game farm sim map. And as you guys can see, it is pretty awesome. We're here in our Dodge Charger Demon Edition. And we actually just passed a, a way station right back there, which is really, really cool. There's a whole lot of cool things to this map, which I will show you um, throughout this whole video. And uh, we will also be setting up our trucking company on the map here today. And with this being a huge 32x map, and it takes six, about six, seven minutes at, you know, 75 miles an hour to get across the map from one end to the other. So we're going to be doing a lot of trucking, I have a feeling. I don't think people are going to be wanting to drive that stuff there themselves. With all that being said, this series is the Creators Roleplay series. We were on Green Valley, Nebraska previously, but we had some issues with the map. So we did do a bit of testing over the last week or so, and we were able to get switched over to this map now it has taken up all of my time recently getting this map set up ready to go for that reason we have uh, missed a couple videos and i do apologize about that but we're gonna get right back into the swing of things head on over to the uh the warehouse and get to work today if you guys want to join the roleplay whitelisted server then make sure you go to the description down below and click on the formalpickle.com that's the formalpickle.com on there you're going to click apply and fill out the application we are going through applications we do have four servers available for you to play on at this time you'll be assigned a server if you get accepted and then you will have your very own farm account for you to do whatever you want. You can run whatever business you want. You can farm. Whatever it may be, you can do. But we just made it to our warehouse. So we're going to pull on in here. And I'm going to give you guys the grand tour. So of course, when you first are pulling in, you're going to get to the check-in and scales right here. Where your vehicle gets weighed and you get your uh, paper from the guard shack and everything. And then pulling up this way, you make an immediate right and a right again if you're a semi. But as employees, well, your parking is right back here. I'm trying to baby the throttle because this thing is really fast. I parked in the only non-parking spot, man. So again, you take your right right here and that wraps around the building. You've got your front docks here. Right here, these two spots are for your yard dog trucks that are electric. You can park one here and one here, and they'll charge both. Once again, got the another set of docks right here. Along this side, you do have a large trailer parking area. Um, I use a lot of placeables just to fill it in so it would lag less. Um, but I did leave spots open for you to be able to put trailers if you so wish. And then moving around the back of that, we've got a few more docks in the back, as well as a uh, a repair area right here. Or not repair area. That's right over there. This is a little like employee lunch eating area. A little break time spot, some tree cover. It's really nice. You got your fuel and your def right here as well. A repair station right there so you can make some changes and stuff. But coming back here, you've got this road that leads down kind of to the bottom part of this level pad and right around into this area where you've got a neat big overflow trailer storage just going along this whole outer stretch right here but then of course you know as you come around this to back towards the front of the building you get to the exit right here where you can pull right on up and out and you are done that is the warehouse i will go ahead and show you the inside of the warehouse here as well we don't have them yet but we will eventually be getting charging stations along the walls for our, uh, our our forklifts and stuff that we're gonna have in here. But yeah, this is the inside of the warehouse. Pretty easy, pretty basic. But now that I've showed you guys this, I'm gonna run over and show you guys the other trucking headquarters that we have. And then we're gonna start getting all the trucks and trailers hauled over to these places. But let me know what you guys think of this, uh, this warehouse in the comments down below. Do you think it's, yeah, we wrecked. Nice. Better than the last one, or do you think it is worse than the last one? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, y'all. A nice 170 mile an hour drive down the road, and we are at our other headquarters right here. So pull on and up. As you guys can see, we've got our entrance right here that you can pull right on into. But you got a nice large building right there with doors here. And on the other side, we've got a ramp right there as well on that building. Got your parking right here. A big open lot for you to hold your trucks trailers whatever you need a little some stuff hole sitting in the corner is all there a couple other big doors right here around to the back side 
over here on the back side, you do have um, some trash, porta potties, more parking. We got some fuel uh, holders back here. Fuel tanks. Good lord, words are hard. Enough pitter pattering around. We've got some trunks to haul today. Now, if you do get on to play on the whitelisted server, you are going to notice that your money doesn't update in the top right hand corner. And that's just a little issue with uh, how the game handles farm accounts. Normally, it only takes eight accounts on a game, but I edited this save to have 60. So uh, that caused it to break a few things, but luckily you do get to see your, your money change right here on this list. Um, the best way to do that is to uh, leave the server, rejoin the server, and you'll see an updated number here on the list. Okay, all of that out of the way, we can finally get into this, to the fun stuff here. We've got a couple yard dogs. These are the Calamar Ottawa T2E. They're the electric version. We've also got a set of four Freightliner cab overs. These are Freightliner Cascadias. Very nice. Then for our heavy haul company, which is that other building, that second one we went to look at, we've got an old school Peterbilt. We've got an International, another Peterbilt, and here we have a TLX as well. Now you guys might see we've got trucks, but we do not have any trailers yet. So let's run into the store and let's uh, see if they have any trailers for sale. All right, we spent uh, close to 900 some thousand dollars on trailers just now let's go ahead and take a look there they are sitting right in front of our semis definitely the best place those could be sitting we'll go ahead and fire up one of the day cabs here and we'll just start getting these box trailers taken care of and then we'll take care of the heavy haul stuff all right we're gonna just back right on up underneath the first trailer here and there we go getting that landing gear put up looks good all of our lines are connected let's go ahead and pull this 53 foot dry van forward real quick and i'll zoom out back here to the back and show you the handles come up and the doors open nice and wide perfect trailer of course credit goes to buck for making this trailer for us as well as the little electric calamar uh yard dogs as well but hey we've got our trailer and we are on the roll so let's get these on down to the warehouse this is going to take us a little while so i won't show you every single one but we are going to get a little bit of work done here here as the uh, night sends in and then in the morning we'll head out and i'm going to show you all the other places all right right here to the right is our warehouse let's go ahead and slow down we'll pull on into the first bay and uh we don't need to check in our way or anything we don't have a load the place isn't open fully yet so i'll tell you what we'll just pull right on in here and get this trailer dropped off we'll make sure we take our turn nice and wide here i think we should clear it and we do looking good and you know what i think i'm gonna go ahead and just do a nice ue here and we're gonna straight back at least a little bit of a straight back this trailer into its spot coming at it at a bit more of an angle so i'm gonna let it push in just a little little sideways and then straighten it out to try and get it centered up in here and that's gonna be right about there all right i can't see back there so we're gonna have to walk back here and see where we're at yep that's perfect right there we can't go back any farther so we'll disconnect our trailer and i suppose that means we can go get the next one hello Jake, hey, my man, how's it going oh it's going good just uh moving semis into the warehouse is all I saw that. I saw you driving down the road there, and I saw all these trailers here. You need uh, you need a little help today? Maybe getting some of these ferried down there? Well, I'll tell you what, that would be mighty swell. It's getting a little dark here soon, and I'd like to get this done pretty quick. So, if you absolutely. could. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm assuming the keys are in this uh, one day cab here, and uh, I'll cook up a trailer. Do you have any specific order you want to load the trailers in? nope nope they're just going into their spot uh, wherever you there's a spot that's where they go all right we got two trailers down but sounds like we're gonna get some help coming out to uh finish this off with us so it shouldn't take us too much longer today but that sun is getting low so i think we are going to have to uh well, I think we're going to have to work through the dark a little bit here. I'll tell you what, boss. So we're not trucking through the night. What do you say I get this one dropped? We uh, we run home. We have ourselves a jolly night's sleep, and we get back at this first thing in the morning. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds absolutely good. I'll go ahead and pull this one over here at the facility and just park her up for now. All right. And I'll catch you, and I'll catch you in the morning. All righty. Oh, oh, morning, hey, bud. The devil, there he is. Morning. How's it going? Oh, you know, got my, uh, actually not a coffee this morning. I haven't had coffee in a couple weeks. I got chocolate milk. 
Chocolate milk. Oh, you're gonna be sleepy though. That, yeah. that, that milk makes me sleepy. <laughs> yeah, but it, it was. I don't know. I had a craving, you know. I already got my yeah. truck warmed up over here, ready to roll. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, let me start mine up real quick. Okay. I don't remember how many trailers we've got today, but we should be able to get it all done. All right, boss. I'm here at the store. What do you say about uh, maybe running one of these yard dogs down there? Yeah, we can do that. I was. Uh, they're not road legal, so you're going to have to be careful that the county mountie doesn't hit you up. Um, are we going to be pulling the trailers with these? Uh, we might as well. I mean, they're certainly capable of it. Uh, don't you think we'd probably give that a shot? Yeah, I think so. So I'm just going to go back here. Now, I will tell you, if you pull a reefer, you're going to be a little tight, but you can do it. Okay. But it's a little bit more comfortable pulling the dry van, but right. uh, well, it, I mean, it will work. I think I think all we have left is, uh, yeah, all we have left is the reefers, so. Yep, but it does work out, so you just go right up underneath it. And if you're inside here, you can actually open your back door so you can see your uh, kingpin back there, your fifth wheel. Right. You can get yourself lined up almost, and you can also raise and lower your, uh, your uh, suspension to be able to pick that trailer up off the ground, which is how they... Uh, how they pick these things up really really cool i'll tell you what it is a weird experience driving this thing because it's electric it is so quiet i know you're so used to hearing those engines in a diesel yeah in a, in a truck it's just very weird and they turn man boy they have a tight turning radius they do they're so i was gonna say this thing is so short it's wheelbase compared to the trailer that when we hit that bump back there, it really throws this thing around. There we go. I got this one dropped. I know there have been questions about these yard jockey trucks from a lot of people. Very excited to see these. Um, if you join the whitelisted server, you will get access to these trucks. I had Buck make these trucks. And, uh, so you will be able to get them if you join the whitelisted server. All right, boss. I'm going to hop in the passenger. You go ahead and we're going to drive on down and uh, get the last couple trailers. All right, sounds good. Let me get it cranked up, hop on in. Now, these are going to go on that back uh, overflow lot, right? That is correct. We have that overflow lot. Um, I think we can, I can't remember how many we can hold there, but obviously we got room for two more. All right, get a nice angle on it, and then we should be able to just give it a little crank and then start to fall it right back in. I'm going to not quite get it. Okay, I can already tell. Got to give it a little bit more of a crank this time, Jake. There you go. Keep her spinning around and get under it a little bit and it's in the spot did you look at that beautiful that's some pro trucking right there all right y'all that's gonna do it for this one i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you like and subscribe and check out the whitelisted server application in the description down below